What's going on folks? So today uh, I'm about to head to the hardware store. Uh, probably go to Lowe's Home Depot and I'm gonna buy some supplies to get started on a barn door for the house. Um, when we got the house they just had like a sheet of uh, a piece of sheetrock screwed to the uh, the entrance to the hot water heater closet but we want to utilize that space as some extra storage since we're in a tiny house and so we want it a little more accessible so I'm gonna go to the store I already ordered the hardware online from Amazon to, to hang the door so I'm gonna go to the store get all the lumber probably just need some one by sixes and a couple one by eights it's gonna be a real simple design and come back to the house and get it together so I lied ended up just getting some one by sixes and one by fours said the hell with the one by eights too expensive I think the one by fours look better anyways. All right, so this is what I'm talking about right here. So you see it's just a piece of sheetrock that they just put over, over this opening for the uh, hot water heater. So open it. I already put some shelves in there just for, I know it's, it's a mess right now, but put three little shelves in there so we can get you know, a little extra storage space, whether it be some groceries, uh, you know, some miscellaneous things like our junk drawer and and stuff like that. So <clears throat> I'm going to mount the, the bracket up there or the little slide rail for the door. We'll go up there and we'll have us a barn door. So I'm probably just going to use use this sheet here for my measurement probably probably do it an inch or two maybe three inches longer than this here because that hardware will will have it uh we'll have it hanging down a little or we'll have it have it mounted higher so i'll have to figure that out i don't like doing math but but yeah but that's it Go outside and start cutting these pieces and then get them, get them screwed together. So I got it laying out here on the deck, trying to find the flattest surface possible. So I'm going to go ahead and 
get our screws and get these things tightened up and then we can uh, you know cut our trim pieces the one by fours we're gonna put around the door So that's pretty much the door right there uh, got the trim pieces on so I uh, got it all screwed down so I'm gonna go through now fill in all the holes with some wood filler give it a quick sanding even though this wood is pretty smooth already as it is but just to make it a little better give it a quick sanding and then we'll stain it up it's not sitting far enough away from the wall so you see where it's dragging so I'm gonna have to take all that down and probably put like a one by four behind there so it kicks it out from the wall a little bit so I'm gonna take all this down probably won't even film it just so I can get it done quick and then we'll see how it looks flip the camera around so y'all can see it a little better don't want to show it all off just yet once I do all the finishing touches I'll give you a bad look but there it is it's hard to get around this side not a lot of room to work with in here but there she is all right guys so I finally got it done it took a little longer than I wanted it to but as you can see I had to go back and add this uh, one by six did a few rookie mistakes, but ended up getting it taken care of. Uh, like I showed you earlier, um, those nuts on the back side were dragging the wall, which is why I put that on. Probably should have did that in the first place, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to go back and paint. Paint this probably white. thought about staining it the same, but stain's just a pain in the ass to deal with now that it's already mounted up there. So I'll probably just paint it white like the trim. And a few more touch-ups. Um, I'm trying not to show you too much of the house so we can uh, have something to, to show you when we do our uh, inside tour. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. Um, like I said, there's still a few things I need to do. Like I'm going to paint the board up there. Uh, there's a few places I need to sand down some wood filler and then redo the stain. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. 
and you guys can see the finished product whenever we do the inside tour of the house. That way there's a little bit to, to look forward to. Since it is a tiny house, not so much to show, so every little bit counts. Um, so yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you like to see more, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.